Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I built the Pi 1541 that's made by Swan Peterson. Links um, are in the description down below. And the Pi 1541 is an interface or head for the Raspberry Pi. It's emulate a 1541 floppy disk drive. The software we use is from Steve White. The link is in the description down as well. The, this device emulates the uh, 1541 in real time and cycle exits. So it's not faster. The disk images are stored in, on an SD card of the Raspberry Pi. And the user interface are some switches and the display for navigation through this software. The Pi 1541 is also compatible with every speed loader that works with the original disk drive. If you use a speed loader, then it loads faster. In this episode, I show you how to build the Pi 1541. And in a future episode, um, we build the case. So enjoy this video and let's start it. So you see that's all components. I have here on my bench, you have the PCBs. I have the Raspberry Pi, I uh, try this Raspberry Pi 02 and some ICs, some header, various little little components, sockets, OLEDs, connectors, speakers, switches and uh, we use some ribbon cable I don't have here lying on this bench. So for the small components we will use this microscope. So yeah, and for um, the build, if you know uh, that you know where the components are and how to build, we have this Project documentation. This is, uh, you can download this on the GitHub of uh, Sven Peterson. So then we heat up the folding iron and then we start. So, first we start with the main PCB. And you see we have some. SMD components and some through hole components here, here, and here, and here. And first, we start with the SMD components with the lower profile. So, from the lowest part up to the highest part. And now we get our microscope in place. Here we are, and then we start with this diode, D1. This diode we have here in this package. And first we prep the, the pad. Now we grab the component. Put this over there. Okay. 
grab the soldering iron And then we have our first component done. And over there we have R1. For R1 is in zero ohms resistor. Or you can let this unplace. I let this unplaced and we get to this and first we prep the contact a little bit of flux See the contacts are prepped. Then we start with C1. And C1 are 100 nanofarad capacitor. We have here. See it there. Twist the board. And then we continue with R4. So 1K resistor. We have here.
The other component I will show you is the transistor. We have here, here, and here. But first we prep this pad. All two transistors here are the same. So we have it right over here. Now we solder the second one. This is the first time I solder under a microscope. So it's not perfect. It's still learning. And now we have this one, and there are lots of other components, it's always the same. Now I put the other components on the PCB, and then we make the through hole components. So stay tuned. So all transistors and diodes and resistors are in place. The last SMD component we have to solder is this IC and some jumpers. The jumpers are so we solder later here this this jumpers. So now I will show you how to solder the IC. First we start with line up this IC. I prepped the pad before. You see, it's not lined up correctly. It's not lined up correct. Put the 
is in place. Hold it down. Sort it the opposite side. And now we have this in place. Now we check the legs. So the next step are the higher components, like sockets and connectors and so on. So the next step after the SMD components are the through-hole components. And uh, first we start with the, with the beeper. Here we, here it is. So, and next we take the the sockets for the IC. With the sockets, you uh, have to check if you're flush with the board. And next, we get the LEDs. And here I use uh, bigger LEDs than in documentation, and that's why I bend the legs a little bit to put this in the right spots. Then we cut off the legs. Okay. 
Third next we saw here the this row of pin header. This row, of this pin header is for the for the display. So now we put on the switches. The switches here, you can put on an uh, external switch PCB, but I don't want it. I want this uh, as compact as possible. I try to use uh, a small casing. So the next thing we have is these connector for ribbon cables that come here from the underside. This fits only in one direction. And later you put the ribbon cable here in here on this on these teeth and clamp it together. But now we solder this on the board. So and the last thing we the solder on this board is this 40 pin header we have here. For this, for this we use electrical tape to hold it in place. This is not so good. Yeah. 
the selectory tape is not the best. And we try it in another way. Number one, oh, careful. Yeah, it's okay. And now we have this board fully populated. This, these two jumpers we solder in later. But for now, clean this, clean this board and then we are good. So, for this, it's done. So, this is for part one of this build. In uh, part two, we built the PCB with the IC connectors and the power connector. And we also built the casing for this Pi 1541. And try to load some games with my C64 on the end. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. You can also support the channel on Patreon if you want to. So I see you in the next video. Bye.